we got a follow up um, from someone we went over news. went over this. Uh, what was it about a month ago? Maybe. Um, I mean, we we talked about it a couple times. Yeah. So Young Jeezy, GD My situation, divorce um, situation. Looks like there's an update here. She, uh, and this is from the St. Louis American. She's suggesting that Jeezy was unfaithful in marriage. Of course she And is. he'll have to pay up. Of course she is. That's, so right now, bro, they playing chess. This ain't even checkers no more. Jeezy had the upper hand, not no more, bro. Listen, bro. The moment you get married to a woman, she has conquered you. <laughs> Allegedly. The man's supposed to conquer the woman. I've never heard a woman supposed to conquer a man. <laughs> yeah, she says, uh, uh, it says allegedly. 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 Listen, um, she believes that her ex-husband, Jeezy, should face a significant financial penalty uh, of course for she does. reported infidelity during that marriage. Emotional, damn it. Why are you so emotional? All man cheat. But <laughs> but it's, you know. Allegedly. He's the same one who a couple weeks ago said real men don't cheat. So yeah, well, listen. Let's assume he didn't cheat since he believes that. Why is she saying this? You're stupid. Why would she say this now? I don't know, bro. Who gives a fuck? I'll tell you right. I don't care. Like, well, I know why. Why? Because maybe she got with him for the money. All women. Hey, I, I, I'm going to recorrect myself. And, and she, the way he wanted to leave and just give her the divorce papers and be out out of nowhere, she probably figured, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not going to get money anymore. It's over already, and I didn't even get to the part where I get the money. I didn't get to the finish line of my goal. So maybe I should make some bullshit up to try to break this prenup that they might have had. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, what, what, get the money. What do you have on the screen when it comes to this? Right now, it's the article, but I think there's something that happened about a year ago. Yeah. That is similar to this on uh, Love and Hip Hop, where uh, Safari... I don't know if anybody else knows about this, but there, there's an article here on Double XL about it. Um, Safari's ex, Erica Mina, uh, she broke down in tears when they had a divorce, and she got a call, I think, from her lawyer or someone telling her what she's going to get. Yeah, but she, or how much yeah. she's not going to get. Right. I seen this video, and and it's fucking funny. It's hilarious, and the reason why it's hilarious because um, she. She broke down in tears, happy she was getting a divorce. She was happy that it was over. Yeah. She was celebrating it until she got that bad news that she was not going to get that check she thought she was. She she found out she's going to get $4,000 a month. And then uh, they weren't tears of joy anymore. They were tears of sadness. I mean, I, shit. She, she, she lucky she get four. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, she should. I mean, I can guarantee you all, for the, child women, support. all the women in the comments would be like, I want four. You got women out here getting $200 a month. <laughs> Good luck with that. That's your fault. You chose that superhero. <laughs> you let that man conquer you. This is the world we live in, man. Yeah, that, y'all, when y'all going to understand that Jeezy made a, a bad calculation. He thought that he can get with a woman with her culture that is submissive, but they're not submissive to us when they Western. Bro, you can't get with an Asian woman in America if she's already been um, uh, pushed in a narrative to be like all the women out here. There's less than probably 6% of women who actually let a man lead in America. These women don't want to be told what to do. I talked to a friend, her name's uh, Rosie, and she's she's 70 something years old. She's a friend, she's somebody I know, she's, she's good in finance, she still works and she's successful. Her husband died from cancer. And I told her, when are you going to get remarried? She's like, I'm never getting married. I don't want to get married and be told what to do. So the women who endure going into these, 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 uh, these, Bruh. these marriages, they don't tend to treat it like a marriage. They treat it like they boyfriend. These women operate as if they marrying their boyfriend, but they still treat him as a boyfriend. He don't move up that extra tier. When it comes to the 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 the, the control, it's not even control. It's it's letting a man lead. Women keep saying they want men to lead, but y'all keep going off a price tag. That's stupidity. A man don't have to be a millionaire to lead. He don't have to make one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year to lead. He can make fifty k and still live in a decent neighborhood and a nice home 
in America. Is it is it is he going to live in the best house? No. Got to you got to double your income. But he still can provide and give a woman a good lifestyle, roof over her head, food in her belly, and sometimes some nice restaurants or at least one trip a year somewhere in America. He can do that. But you women are following Instagram fake models, only fan models. Everybody selling a body for four ninety nine, and their body count just keep raising, and it's it's making y'all jealous, y'all insecure, y'all want what they have, but they selling pussy. Why would you want a woman selling her body over and over again? Stop it. Get some help for an opportunity that might not even work out for you. Y'all are not Lori Harvey. Stop thinking y'all Lori Harvey. Y'all not these women. You ain't even her. She can leave this relationship and somebody else, some other idiot, will entertain her. That's the weird thing about this, though. It's like, why all of a sudden does she decide to make this move now and claim this? And and after the fact that she was shocked and all It's all this, about the money. Because she's, you know, obviously he has way more money than she does. But I mean, she was doing well for herself we don't know before that. him. You we think she know. has more than him? No, I I I don't know what Jeezy got. I thought he was a hundred millionaire. I was wrong. No, I don't. I, listen, he's worth about ten. Even She's if it, not. I think Jeezy's worth probably fifteen. According to cash, money in his his bank account is probably fifteen million dollars. The dude dude is solidified. He's a king. Of the South, one of them. But she's doing well enough. Why is she making up a lie to get money from? Because her? it's because it, women. If you gotta understand, man, when you go into a marriage, I don't care if you got fifty thousand dollars, if you got two hundred thousand dollars. Let's say you got ten million dollars. The second you get married, the judge look at it as half of all. So she's going after her half. She feels she's entitled. She married you. She went through the law. And she's saying, you lied and you cheated, and now I'm going to see you in court, even though she's lying. Her, why, do y'all not understand how the system works? All these blood-sucking lawyers, lawyers are blood-suckers. Yeah, we need them because the system is built against us. So we have to pay these idiots, right, to go and represent us while they still and milk us for everything. You are fake news. So cases build up. This is going to cost them a million dollars. This trial is going to be expensive because I truly believe it. I don't know if this is true, but I, I, from what I heard, if you make more money than she does, you have to pay her court fees. And if she loses, then, then they make you somehow make it go back to her. So she's doing it out of spite, you think? I think, yeah, 100%. I think when a woman truly is conquered and, you, and she's feeling abandoned, he's abandoning her for a reason. He's leaving her. She 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 feels a, a, a bandit. So um this yeah. is this is how women operate. So she's trying to get him back for embarrassing her, maybe. I I, I think it's she more, got an it, ego. Yeah, man. And this is what happened when you deal with high tier women, bro. You're not gonna tell high tier women what to do. It's very it's very rare that a, a woman who work her ass off and build herself to a status like you is gonna listen to you. Period. She's she doesn't respect you. You have to be like a president or you have to be like Michael Jordan or you have to be like Jay-Z or Kanye West for the average woman today to respect you to that high level where she lets you just do whatever the fuck you want. This is why Diddy was able, if, a, if it's true or not, this case is still also Allegedly. going through it. This is why Diddy can control his power just like a king does or what you want to call a... Uh, 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 kingpin or a dictator, whatever y'all want to use the term. I don't like them words. I think a king is perfect. But as a king is, he's going to have the biggest hand and females are going to operate in his in his world. He's not going to operate in their world. So certain things you may have to do to sit at that table. And some women will do anything to have these type of lifestyles. Period. Allegedly. Some. Not all. But majority of today, you see women just doing anything they can to sexualize they stuff for opportunity. They're doing anything they can. And it's dangerous. I just think what I mean, I, I feel bad for Jeezy. This dude's about to go through shit. And this is going to be an ugly battle. I, I was just thinking, like, imagine if Jay, Jay-Z and Beyonce, and I, I would never want them two to end. I think they, they represent everything towards black culture. I, I love Jay-Z, how he buys art. With our culture, 
I, I like Jay-Z, what he's done for hip-hop. I like Jay-Z has not really much allegations towards his lifestyle. This man is worth $3.5 billion. He comes from the streets. I mean, he's if, 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 if it's not Diddy, Jay-Z's probably the biggest in hip-hop. And, and nobody can take that title from him. I think he sits as a Michael Jordan in, in, in the ring of, 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 of hip-hop. And guess what? I respect Jay-Z because he went after his queen and he helped her position herself as a superstar. And look at them. Y'all, 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 y'all shaming Beyonce for acting white. She's not. Y'all stupid. It's sad, man. America, this, this is our queen. This is our queen. Like England has a queen. Beyonce is our queen. Okay. And that's, she, she, she worked for that throne. Respect her hustle. That woman did not go out and just, just start her OnlyFans and got rich. She didn't go out and sexualize herself like a lot of these women do. She went out and learned how to dance. She went and learned how to sing and did it every day and practiced to the world. And she made a living with her husband. That's respect. Y'all got to go find y'all kings, man. Y'all got to go find y'all fucking kings and find a man that pushes you to be successful instead of sitting up here disrespecting. Now, listen, if he cheated, then it's fucked up, right? Because if you go into a contract with a woman and you tell her you're not going to cheat and you cheat, then I, I, I listen, she deserved what she deserved. But I don't believe her. That's all I'm saying. Just don't go to the courthouse. Skip it on that day. And we got, we go got one more minute on this. I got, we, got, we got one more minute on this because we got a countdown. I'll, I'll just tell you this, Rami. Listen, this is going to cost Jeezy millions of dollars. And it's fucked up because that, that means she's not going to walk away easily. She's not. She's not going to walk away easily. She's not going to do that. She's going to fight this because this is what women do. This is why you must never date a woman with power. These women want to be Denied. these women want to be Cleopatra, man. They want to be Cleopatra. You're not Cleopatra. Go do y'all research on her, please. These women want to be Cleopatra. You got to be very, very careful. Do not get with a woman like like um um what I, what I want to say her name <laughs> Jada. <laughs> I, I almost stuttered it. Jada Smith. Do not do not get with women like this, man. Thank you for watching the Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.